that's how it's going, let's take a look at the best class setup for the Origin 12 shotgun. This is a shotgun that I will say now, like, compared to the other ones, it actually pulls off the platinum camo very nicely. So now, hopping in, do the attachments. We're going to be starting off with the muzzle and throwing on the choke. Like I said, with all the shotguns, that choke's really your best option, okay? You know, you get the, the tighter pellet spread, you get a little bit extra damage range. And now, this semi-automatic shotgun, you know, if you're going to be running it in core and stuff, you're definitely going to need all the range that you can get. So with that in mind, we're going to be scooting over to the barrel, and we're going to be throwing on the forge tack impaler, okay? So like I said, you really need to be able to just reach out and touch somebody because for some reason, you know, the Call of Duty logic with this, even though all these shotguns on here are 12 gauges, they all, despite having similar barrel lengths and stuff, just the fact this same, I mean, I know why. They got to do it to balance out, you know, the weapons and stuff. So it's, it's understandable and it's appreciated because shotguns can, you know, they can be a little bit cheeky and a little bit frustrating whenever somebody's using them against you, especially on smaller maps. And that's what we're going to do here in a minute when we take and hop in a game and run this class setup. Okay, now as you can see on the side, you actually do get a horizontal foregrip on this thing. And since this thing is really just optimized for hip firing, we're not going to be throwing on any additional underbarrel attachments, which even though it says underbarrel, you know, it's still on the side of the firearm. So, But we are going to scoot over to ammunition and by, like, you know, we're just going to be throwing on the max amount of ammunition that you can for this so just something i touch on just in case this is your first video of mine that you're watching and by the way check out some of the other ones uh we're i'm gonna be doing separate videos using uh about the slug round and stuff because that does change uh the overall setup of most all the shotguns uh, and it turns them into a completely different weapon in terms of how they play in the game so you know if he's expecting the best class that ever this to involve slug rounds and that's going to be a separate video so we're going to be going with 25 round drum mag then pop up to the laser we thought on the five milliwatt laser because i mean you know if you're using this shotgun you're either going to be camping in a corner which nobody wants you to do and that's not a good way to play or you're going to be running a gun with this thing just shoving that barrel down everybody's throat so you know your position being given away don't really matter and if it matters that much to you then just throw on the red laser and call it a day and finally just for the added mobility we're going to be going with the no stock option because like that actually does help uh even though you know our ads isn't what we're going for we're going to be using this mostly firing from the hip it does help whenever it does you do want or need to ads uh so yeah now if you for whatever reason, didn't want to go with no stock ops, you could always throw on sleight of hand just so you could cycle through those 25 round mag drums a wee bit quicker. But where this thing has such a restricted fire rate, and you know, obviously it, it's a 12 gauge shotgun, uh, that 25, those 25 rounds last quite a bit longer than you might expect. So I would just recommend if you're wanting to use a shotgun as a, you know, a gun you're just interested in using, or if you're, uh, you know, having to use it to uh, work on your camo grind to get that Damascus then, uh, you know, just play around with it, go down and try the sleight of hand, maybe mess around with stocks, but I mean, I've cycled through quite a few attachment combinations for this, the ones that make sense and some that don't make sense, and uh, this right here is what I have come up with to be the most well-rounded uh, group of attachments for this shotgun to use it, uh, you know, in its intended application. Now for a full class rundown, we got the Origin 12 shotgun set play I just showed you guys. We got the Deagle in our secondary because depending on, you know, what game mode, what map, and so on and so forth you're playing, uh, you do need the ability to extend your range out further, and the Deagle is really the best way to do that without having to, you know, waste a, uh, a perk slot by throwing on overkill or something along those lines. For our perks, we got EOD hardline and shrapnel. For our lethal, we got a frag grenade, and then in our tactical, we got a flash grenade. Okay, so now we got the shoot to ship playlist at back which is you know just shoot house and shipment which is phenomenal too i mean i'm not that big of a fan of shipment originally but uh now that i'm working on like the right shield and stuff that is very helpful so this game is just barely started but we're coming in right at a perfect time so now uh shoot house is actually a pretty decent map to kind of showcase this shotgun just because you know shipments obviously you know you're just touching everybody all the time it don't really matter what gun you're using uh, but on here, you got varying range. I am just lighting up my teammate right there. I'm so sorry for hitting him with all that buckshot right in the face. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna run this thing. Let's push through the office and see. Normally, you always got people hopping in the office, but the enemy team seems to be playing a little bit slower. Either that, or they just all decided to go around uh, the junkyard right here and chill out on this side. Oh, but now you got to remember though, we're, with this shotgun, you, the, even with this extended barrel and stuff, the range is not that good. And this is one of the least, uh, I don't want to say effective, 
but I mean, you know, I guess for the lack of a, of a better word, is it is the least effective uh, shotgun out there. It's kind of got its own little niche, its own little place. You know, they always try to throw in a semi-automatic shotgun of some sorts, and uh, you know, in order to keep it balanced out and everything, it does have to be a bit weaker and have a bit more uh, limits on the range capabilities. So it's really just about kind of like what we talked about with the 725 running that short barrel setup. Um, you just got, I mean, you got to play the gun to its, to its strengths, right? Like, you can't just run out and expect to, you know, be winning mid-range gunfights and stuff against subs or ARs or whatever, and then unless you just have no concept of Call of Duty or what, you know, if, how weapons play out, then, you know, you, you can't uh, can't be competing at long ranges or anything with any any weapon just because, uh, you know, you're, you're maxed out. Now, given, uh, you know, ADS and does help your range a wee bit, but not enough to really justify it. Like I said, you got this laser on here. Just stick with the hip fire as much as you can, and uh, that'll give you the best experience with it while you're working on some of these. Oh, wow, I am on fire, and not in the good way, baby. Okay, and we're not we're not doing too hot on the leaderboard. Either. We need to speed this up, but I can't really uh, do nothing until I get past Dante's Inferno right here. Okay, well, let's see if we can pop A. Let's pop a reload too. Where I've been uh, playing some hardcore stuff, working on some of these guns, man. Let me like I can't even tell you how how annoyed I am right now with this game because I, where I'm having to work on the rocket launchers and uh, the riot shield and the knife and all that garbage, man. Like I am just not having a good time right now playing this game. Uh, so it's nice to revisit these because I've actually had this shotgun and the last two LMGs done for a bit. Uh, but my allergies have just been absolutely screwing me sideways. Um, and like screwing my voice and stuff. So I've, I've kind of been a wee bit limited in like my ability to do these commentaries. So uh, I'm just kind of at the catching it in between. But yeah, so I'm super close to Damascus, guys. And it's so awesome. I, I've been able, you know, all y'all been able to like kind of follow the, uh, the journey. Where'd that man go? He just pulled some Houdini garbage and disappeared. Oh my god, how did he do that? He literally teleported. He's a wizard! He, okay, he is an actual wizard. Okay, so let's 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 back it up right now. Let's see if we can get this UAV back up in here. Maybe get a little bit of a of a cheeky grenade kill. Okay, they're spawning behind me. Let's chill out with that. Oh, well. A UAV is not in their future. Let me get a little sip of water right here. It's kind of, whenever I don't have a face cam on, I feel more inclined to, like, keep the commentary going consistently just because I feel like when you have a face cam, you can at least see, like, you know, you can observe somebody's concentration and focus in the game, but it's like, whenever you don't have a face cam, it's just awkward silence. So, uh, you know, if, if, if any of you guys want to give some feedback in regards to that, then, you know, just hit me up in the comment section. We just get a triple hot dog. We did. I don't even know where that third man come from. Okay, I really want to be at the top of the leaderboard, but we are just straight up triple capping these individuals. And I feel kind of bad because that's going to make a game, you know, not last nearly as long as it normally would. Where'd that man go? Oh, oh, about fed that man a kill with that Molotov right there. Okay, I do not appreciate the UAV, I mean the counter UAV, and I really wish I had my rocket launcher equipped because my rocket launchers are actually what I've been running as my secondaries because, you know, I've been a... Uh, been grinding, baby. Been grinding, and it's gonna take me a hot minute. Now, something I do really need some feedback on uh, is whether or not you guys want me to uh, do a video on like class setups for the rocket launchers. Because guess what? You know, you can't really throw any attachments on them things, so there's kind of no point. And I'd hate using them. And I, other than just if you want to sit back and enjoy the rage of me dying over and over and over again from trying to use them things then uh, I don't really see the point in uh, in doing any videos with them but you know I, I, I like to I like to give you guys what you want to see so you know we can we, we can cross that bridge when we get there but right now I've actually got the right shield like definitely past halfway I wouldn't say it's almost done because I still got to uh, unlock the last uh, camo group uh, but I've, I think I've got like maybe four of them completed all together I'm just going how did that make okay it was a shot I thought he just like outshot us with a submachine gun or something so yeah I mean as you can see we're not doing god awful I don't think we're 11 and 8 so I mean you know we ain't negative yet uh, 
but this, I don't know. This shotgun is, we're on our way to being negative. Though. This shotgun is just something that, like, I, I, now that I've got it platinum and everything, like, I'm just not going to be using this thing again anytime soon outside of maybe, you know, whenever I'm forced to use it in a gunfight or something. It's just not, it's just not that good. And, like, out of the other shotguns, like I said, the R9 is just probably my top um, to, as a primary shotgun. Or I guess as I should say, a shotgun that I prefer to run as a primary if, you know, I'm in the mood to throw some buckshot people's way. So, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just got this gameplay hopping right here just to kind of, you know, show you guys how the setup is. But I know that, uh, you know, a lot of you guys are, are doing the camo grinds yourself and that is awesome. Like, let me know how y'all are progressing through. I'm looking forward to getting to mask and stuff though so I can go back to using, you know, the guns that I want to use and the guns I enjoy using and can actually do some good performance with. Like, uh... I plan to do some do some videos like I, I haven't even attempted like to pop a tactical nuke yet, but I mean I know that that's more than doable. Uh, like I know a lot of you guys that are just uh, viewing these videos where I'm you know doing these class setups and stuff. You've seen some of the games where my performance has been very 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 poor, and uh, I, I swear to you I'm good at Call of Duty, but switching between uh, so many different weapons and just working on these camos it like I'm I'm not that good with that like I operate mainly on muscle memory so like I like to have a, like maybe two three classes at most uh, that I cycle between and then I actually focus on my in-game performance like with these videos I'm mainly just trying to focus on keeping the commentary going and just getting some different uh, levels of engagement so that I can showcase the class setups that the videos pertaining to um, so yeah, that's not that's not just a uh, an excuse that I'm trying to throw out there for some of the games that I've performed lackluster in. Oh oh, and j I mean just losing these gunfights right here shouldn't be shouldn't even be happening. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I want to play. I'm in the mood to play some zombies too. Like just doing these uh, these rocket launchers and stuff is just really. It's just, I mean, that's a really good test about, like, sticking out these things. And it's something, I mean, if you really want to do the Damascus stuff, I'd recommend getting them out of the way first. Just because, I mean, they're so, it, they just suck. Like, it just sucks to use them. I don't know any why anybody in their right mind that plays this game would even just, would enjoy using rocket launchers at all. Like, unless you just, you know, I mean, it can be rage-inducing when they're used against you. So, if you're trying to make people rage, then... You know, maybe that's the right class setup for you, but like just in general, it's no fun. It's no fun at all. So you know, yeah. I'm, but we're actually compared to our teammates, we're racking up quite a bit more kills than they are. But this game went by a little bit quicker than domination normally does because we was just straight up dominating them people. Thank you for spawning behind. I shouldn't have cut through middle right there because they had C flags. So I knew they was gonna spawn there. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this game's about over. Man, that one dude that's got that class thing right there is the one that we keep losing them gunfights because he's like posting up just like right outside of this thing's, uh, you know, sweet spot range wise. And I mean, like I said, without the uh, without this longest barrel on here, you're just not really going to be able to compete on core or anything uh, with with most of the maps and stuff, depending on the game mode you're playing. So. You know, when it comes to working on, if you're in, just interested in the camo itself, then you probably might want to hop into some hardcore. That's what I've done. And I was able to speed through, um, speed through the camos for this thing like super quick, like no problem at all. Okay, and man, I, I guess it's a good thing I'm not in hardcore because I have lit, uh, like I've been lighting up my teammates, and that is no joke. And I feel so, like I, I don't know, I just feel cheap using shotguns just because it's so easy and it's, you know, God dang it, teammate, you just right under everybody's feet. Well, there you have it, guys. That right there is the shotgun. It's all its glory with this class set up. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And look at that, baby. We got play of the game. Oh, this right here is when we... I tried to look and see... I guess there was a third guy that was laying down and just stood up right there. But there was all that, you know, smoke and stuff where that grenade went off. So, 27-17. Nothing to write home about. Got a decent number of defends and stuff. So, good game all around for the, you know, for the context of this video. Yeah, guys, really glad to have you. Uh, glad the channel's, you know, picking up and growing the way it is. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't, then please don't dislike it. Just go chill somewhere else. Uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Share all your friends. Until the next one, adios.